In the fall of 2014, uh, the county commissioners had had a conundrum with the park district. They were losing money, losing participation in their the Armco Park softball uh, complex. The commissioner said, maybe what we need to do to increase sales is to reinvigorate it and the possibility of using the Career Center, the Warren County Career Center, to uh, build the concession stand would be a possibility. Their, their first response when we told them and showed them what they were gonna do was, uh, wow, can we really do this? And uh, I said, well, sure we can. I said, just a piece at a time. And so as we got into it and started working with it, um, they realized they, they built self-confidence and, um, and then when it was done, and I've, I've heard this from them since they've graduated, um, they bring their families by and are proud of what they did, um, proud of the achievement um, that it's being used by somebody and, and they can say, hey, we built that from scratch. Attendance is definitely up. Uh, we can see that in our sales, uh, in the food that we sell and just coming up here on Friday nights or during leagues or whatever, there's definitely a lot more people attending the park. The original building that sat on the site sat too low. It flooded and caused a lot of the building to deteriorate over time. So with that, MSP's survey and civil team came in and we raised the building up off of the ground. This gave us a new platform to put the building on um, and this allowed us to set the building in, in, in a perfect position to create also not only positive drainage but get the clearances for around the building because there were there are delivery trucks that enter the site and they have to clear the deck on the outside around the back of the building. When we first met with the park district they had lofty goals. Um, when we then was able to meet with the uh, Warren County Career Center and find out what their students could or could not do, what programs could be involved or could not be involved in, what the park district had to contract separately. So we, we tried to, to divide those up and figure out with the instructor's help what their students could actually do. We designed the building specifically to give the students the best experience, like uh, the welding shop did the fabrication of the, of the rails uh, uh, mesh and, and the framework on the uh, deck rails. Um, we chose materials on the building that were unique. Uh, uh, Hardy Plank, which is a cementitious board uh, that was a good thing for the students to know how to install. Um, things like making sure that it was fairly simple yet complicated enough to give them a challenge. It's something that they could, at the end of the day, uh, take to the workforce and say, look what I've done, I've got experience in doing this, and be more valuable for the experience. The educational benefit um, is always, um, you can teach them so much in a lab, um, you can teach them so much out of books, at a table, but when you get uh, to real life situations where you're having to deal with weather and possibly unsquare foundations and all the things that you deal with in construction, um, it just prepares them for real life a little better. And we do, um, I've been at the school for 21 years and uh, we have always built projects. When they go out and start working for different companies and the companies realize that they're so much further along than somebody they just hire off the street. Um, their educational value for the students um, is kind of, the proof is in the jobs they've landed. Um, and this particular class that graduated, that were seniors that finished this building, um, there were 16 students in that class and all 16 of them are working construction. There was six different programs that were involved. Uh, it was heavy equipment, carpentry, electrical, HVAC, IT, and welding. There was over 85 students that were that, that participated in the construction process. If we could start the project over again or do a similar project, I think that bringing the students in early on the design side would be very beneficial. Seeing how we put drawings together, uh, bidding and permitting, cost estimating, it's, it's a very important asset for somebody that's actually building a project to understand they have to know how to read the documents. So if they know how we put the documents together, then they would understand how 
to better translate that into the built environment. So the end results of the project was a complete success. Success is measured in a number of ways. The students uh, are very proud of the product that they were able to participate in. The Park District has a uh, renewed interest in their softball fields and it's a renewed income stream that has been increased significantly.